<laughs> All right, Sedge, what are we working on today? Okay. Um, I want to show you a technique. Uh, we finished up the record uh, hand plane. Uh, I think that's our most recent video. Yep. I don't know when this one's going to come out. But I want to do a really short video or semi short video on a couple of things I do when I refurbish a hand plane. We will refurbish. We're in the midst of trying to find for a big D uh, a number five maybe a number six, maybe a number seven. We're gonna refurbish a few hand planes this year. Um, but I wanna show you a technique when I, and this is a, Chris come in here for a second. I wanna show you, and this, this is a, I think this is kind of cool. <laughs> Hopefully everybody in the audience does too. This is a number four I have. These are just two different um, series of hand planes. These are both number fours. It's a Bailey and this is a, a new, another generation of them. Uh, it's a little bit wider. But when you look at this, so keep keep down here, Chris. When you look at this, as I refurbish this one, yeah, we got to lap the sole. Oh, I've already started this one and the sides and everything. But one of the things I like to do to a hand plane, and I think it gives it a nice distinguishing uh, look, is you see this right here? I can take sandpaper to it um, just to knock it down. I think I did that to your record. You sure did. Oh, but not the top edge, because I think on your record it was painted, so I didn't do this. Oh, okay. But when I do this, I like to just do this top edge, because when you feel this, it just feels a little rougher, and this one's a little more oh, yeah. uh, refined. Now I've took the frog off uh, so we can look at this one, but I also want you to see the lever cap here and this blade and the uh, chip breaker or cap iron. But I also have these chisels here and as you're filming that, Chris, I'm going to come over here and we're going to turn some tool handles for these this year. These are a couple slicks I did and somebody was asking me, wow, that's pretty cool. How did you get all the rust off or descale them? So I'm going to show you how to descale, descale these pretty quick. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do before we hit the bench grinder is when you look at something like this, you see there's a little bit of heavy rust on here. Yeah. I don't wanna take that to the, the wheel. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll do this side, I'll have you do the other side. Just to scale it a little to get the rust off. Okay? Oh wow. So I'll have you do this side. Okay. And it's just this is a, a sanding block. And get down here as well. Man, you're really good at that. You're like the best sander I've ever seen. <laughs> Too bad I hate sanding. Good job. What's next? So, have you ever used a bench grinder? For the sake of argument, I'm gonna say no. Okay. So this is the bench grinder. Um, it's a six inch. That's because of the size of the wheels that okay. you buy for it. Whether it's a grinding wheel. By the way, I hate these things. Oh, they spin. You know how fast they spin? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're supposed to say very. Very, oh, okay. very slow. Uh, and they're spinning toward us. Oh, okay. And you're gonna notice, or I always, I will show you right here, they spin at 3,450 RPM. Okay. And wicked fast. <laughs> so you gotta be very aware of rotation. Now, I'm gonna talk about this wheel I have on here. My buddy Dave gave me this wheel probably 10 years ago, maybe even 20 years ago. It sounds funny. It's called a convoluted wheel. It's a good word. <laughs> it is a great word. Yes. <laughs> so much so, I thought I was mispronouncing it, or but I wanted to, you know how we just took the sandpaper and took that down? Yeah. I know a lot of people who take this. And this is fleece, but it's also, uh, fleece, but it's also, it's basically scotch Bright. Oh yeah. And that's a woven product where there's little grains, sandpaper, there's little grains of um, aluminum oxide on there. Now, a, I have to look up what convoluted means. It's, I've used it in other texts before, but it says here, look, I even downloaded it. It's to coil up and form in a twisted shape. That's not how it is here. It's coiled or rolled up together to form one part over another. So I'm gonna stick that over here. It's basically, and it sounds funny, it's basically this, and it's all woven together in a single wheel. Really? That's basically a scotch bright pad, but it's really dense. So you can look this up on whatever, Amazon, wherever. This is a Norton brand. 
There's a 3M, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. But there's all kinds of great brands out there. And they range, I think, from $55 to, you ready? $200. Okay. But it's one of the best investments you ever made if you're refurbishing things. It's a metal polishing wheel. Okay. And guess what we are working with? Metal. Metal. <laughs> so this is my first step because I like to make things nice and we can look at the logo here. Okay. And I don't know if you can get that, Chris. That's a Stanley. So when you turn this on, I have this uh, on the board here. I got it with my Bessie clamps. Uh, look, by the way, these are great, these deep reach clamps. And it's locked down to the MFT. Nice. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Now, when you get these wheels, uh, you'll see this has got a five eight taba on this bench, typical, but it's got a, it, you'll see it's a one inch bore, but they usually, usually include a knockdown fitting. So that takes it to five eights. Okay. Plus on here, I also put those flanges. Okay. Now remember that's rotating toward me. So you got to understand where to put this. And there's a variety of things I've actually used the side sometimes, but you'll see how quick that cleans up. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, and that gets a lot of that, and I call it the scaling, but you gotta be careful. And look at that, look how nice that takes it up. And now you can see the logo. Hey, right. isn't that cool? But watch, I also do stuff like this to get the edge. Look at look how nice that comes out. And then you can take it like this, and you'll see how we do that hand plane in a minute. But you gotta remember to keep edges away from there because you'll get a catch. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do this, just like I did, that little edge right there. All right, just hold it firmly. He's a natural. Okay, so what else I want to do, have you do, is you see that side right there? Mm -hmm. Work on some of that stuff you sanded off. And it's just taking your time with it and understanding it. And then try try this. Yeah, like right. that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Take your time. These are also known as blending wheels, finishing wheels. They won't take things down. Now what I'll do is I'll have this piece of scotch right nearby. Okay. And after a while, like if I take it like this and bring it down like this, right? Okay, and you'll see where I've gone here and here. I'll take that and I'll have this piece here. I'll just rip this scotch bright. And I'll just take it and see how it all blends together afterwards. Oh. It really speeds up that operation. Okay, I don't do, we're gonna take that and lap that. I'll tell you what, look at this. You can see a couple of things with this bevel. You will see that chip that's out of there, okay? And you can see how it's semi-rounded. That's why we'll reestablish the bevel and grind it back eventually. Okay. But you see that schmutz right there? <laughs> Watch that come right off. And you'll see it comes right off as I do this. Okay, and you can blend it, but don't work the bevel, and you can see you can take that and take it right down. Oh. So it's a quick way. It's actually fun. So what I'll do is like on a, maybe a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon, Excuse I'll line me. up, I'll line up all the stuff that I need to descale. Okay, and this is really good for like a big gouge like this. See, once again, on this gouge that we can work. Okay, I'll take that heavy that heavy oxidation off, okay? And then I'll take it over here and you're gonna see how nice this works. Kind of breaks it brand new. I really gotta work that, I gotta sharpen that. But you'll see how that all comes off. So, here's what I wanna show you. It's really nice. Okay, see this chisel here? This I bought, I think up in Maine. Okay, when everybody is out there tool hunting and you are as well, mm -hmm. don't pass up goodies that are only 50 cents. Because <laughs> later, sometime this year, look at this. I, uh, I pulled this out of a box I had in the basement and uh, I kind of chuckled at it. I was gonna take it off. But this is something I bought for 50 cents when I was on the road, maybe 15, 20 years ago. And look how chipped up that is. 
Oh wow. You see that? And you could tell that's not even at 90. No, no, no. But what's nice about it, it's a really nice slick. And the initial cleanup phase is pretty simple. And I like taking stuff. Check, check out this bevel here. I can clean that right up. Look, I'm gonna make this later on this year. We'll make this like new. But you see how you can take all of that? Yeah. So don't pass up those 50 cent chisels, especially something like this, because look, you, Chris, did you get all the nicks in there? I want to make sure everybody sees this <laughs> because we're going to take this eventually. Look how, look how they sharpen that with all those different bevels on there. Oh, this is going to be fun working this. Okay, as promised, let's just take it one more step and uh, we get some work on this front edge where when we finally hit this, we'll bevel it a little bit to take some of those nicks out. But I want to show you how you can take that antique and look how that just shines up. Wow. Isn't that sweet? So what I'm going to do, look how easy that is. Here's where we're going to use the edge, okay? Now I'll start on this one, okay? Just to polish that. And you got to be aware of where you are on that. But look how that's starting to, wow. as I say, spit, sun, spit shine, right? And then you just got to be aware of where that and it's just a light touch, but look how that finishes up. So, Big D, I'm going to have you do this side. Okay. I'll be right here. Just take your time and be aware. Start at the front edge, like this. Yep. And be aware not to get too far into the wheel. Let's see how your progress is. Dude, you're a natural Woo! at this stuff. Go ahead, Big D. You're cranking, buddy. And just understand that that thing is spinning wicked fast. Yes, it is. Isn't that nice? Already starting to clean up. And feel that. Feel how that's just blended nice. It gets all those, just, I think it adds the really nice touch. Yeah, it makes it pop. It refurbishes it really nice. So there you go. Cool. All right, Sedge, that was fun, man. Cool, huh? So yeah. if we, if Chris and I know you're gonna come in here, see that, see how that just shines that up nice. And that is one of the steps I always do to get started on refurbishing uh, a hand plane. Boy, there's gonna be a lot more this year. And as we always wrap this up, be positive. Stay sharp. Wicked sharp.